With respect to uh, the social justice movement, uh, it's difficult, I think, to say in the long term uh, whether it's a good thing or not. It's basically an ideological movement that tries to become state religion and this uh, seems to be poised to do so. And I suspect uh, the reason why it is emerging, it's part of social media, right? So social media is creating incentives for uh, egregores to emerge and to possess people. And uh, the other thing is that the mainstream society is not working very well. And this uh, leads to revolutionary movements. And a part of social justice is about redistribution of resources. It's a weird way of being a leftist in which you don't care so much about uh, the economic conditions under which people actually exist, but you care about the identities of people. So you don't care about the contrast between people living in sheds and people living in palaces, but you care about palace dwelling quotas for uh, your own people. And so it seems to be a movement that is largely driven by uh, the upper middle class uh, trying to get in the lower under uh, upper class, something like that, right? It's uh, mostly academics that are already, you could say, in a privileged position. Uh, and uh, I'm putting this into square qu uh, square quotes because uh, academia is uh, more open in a society that it, than it has been for most of the existence of humanity. Uh, and so in some sense, the society is very democratic in the sense that everybody in the society is free to become an oligarch and enter the ruling class. And of course, the society is not set up in such a way that everybody can become an oligarch. It also would not work like this. And not everybody is uh, has the necessary traits uh, to become an oligarch. So uh, the, the whole thing is in some sense rigged, but it's not rigged as it was before where your birth decided everything else. And when you try to... Uh, get away from what you were born into, people would go after you and kill you. And most of the previous social movements, for instance, the Bolsheviks in Tsarist Russia, were uh, working against the system of indentured servitude, or uh, the communards in uh, France, which started the French Revolution, were uh, going against the monarchy, which was no longer uh, able to manage society in, in the right way, right? People were starving despite an increase in productivity. And this mismanagement of society had to be addressed. And it was addressed uh, in a way that was extremely brutal and led to, by itself to starvation and to uh, the destruction of a lot of culture and a lot of things that were beautiful and probably deserved to be uh, maintained. But the society it's itself that was being destroyed was no more sustainable. And that was the reason why this revolutionary movement cropped up, came up. And when you have violent revolutionary movements this, that are destructive, uh, that it's this is often the result of uh, your society not being able to implement mechanisms that reform themselves in a more benevolent way. Right? And the U.S. is stuck in this sense. It's stuck by lots of mafias that take out resources at every level. We are not able to build new infrastructure anymore for that reason, for instance. Whenever we try to build a new high-speed train, the money just evaporates. And uh, when we try to uh, heal cancer, the person that has that cancer typically goes bankrupt in the process. So right, something is wrong in that whole system. And we, we don't have uh, intrasystemic forces that can repair the system. Instead, the system, by virtue of its own intrasystemic forces, is getting worse. So something needs to change the system, even if the alternative is worse for time being, the alternative eventually will need to get its shit together after it's taken power. So I suspect that's that's what's happening. And so if we zoom out large, uh, far enough, it's very hard to evaluate whether the present revolutionary movements, despite the uh, problems that they are going to cause and already causing, are, are wrong or right. Eventually, it's we are just large groups of chimpanzees that uh, tell each other stories about what we do.